I always found it interesting as people um, commented that putting in industrial needles because they don't have the flat side was terrible. Um, so I actually figured out it's not as bad. There are two ways to sensibly do it. Let's see if we can figure this out. So with a large enough needle, there's a hole on one. Okay, so you can see that bit on the bottom side of the needle there. That's where the needle hook or the hook goes into. Now, the smaller the type of needle, this is a size 14, but the smaller the needle, the less obvious that is. However, on this other side, there is a trough, which is super easy to identify because you can touch it. So you can always tell that the needle hook goes into the opposite side of that trough. So let me show you how the trough works. Okay, so this part here with the groove, the scarf it's called, it's not obvious on a small needle, but on a 14 and above, it's pretty obvious that there's a scarf there. So you know that goes towards the hook. So on a standard zigzag machine, the ones with the horizontal or the front facing bobbins, that would go towards the back of the machine. However, on the reverse side, you have this trough here where the thread goes in. So the thread goes down through the needle and up the back and then the hook grabs always from the back. But you can always find this with your, ne n your nail. So actually what I realized is it's super easy. On most machines that faces towards the front of the machine. Unless you have a side um, facing bobbin, in which case that would face to the left or the right, but most often to the left. And then the scarf is there. So this is easy for me. I just always rub my knee, even if I can't see the scarf on a small needle, I can always find that bit with my nail. And then I know that faces towards the opposite way of the bobbin, or in this case, in this machine, the console towards the front. So that might be an easier way for people to cope with how you use an industrial needle.